How are you? I'm good. How are you? You've been out for now. Eight months. How does that feel? Uh, it feels like I'm getting a lot more sleep. I think the American people saw what kind of president they had last night. What I saw was a lot of conviction behind the principles he was arguing, a uh, president who knew his case and was making his case, and that's when he's at his best. Does it surprise you that since 10-7, you know, that Joe Biden has been in some respects at his best. Republicans have been arguably at their worst, and yet his approval rating hasn't moved. Yeah. So I'm curious why you think he does not get more credit for foreign policy accomplishments. Look, I think that in American elections, domestic policy is always the number one issue. And I think the election is going to be much more about choices on the economy, on freedom, on reproductive rights, the issues people talk about around their kitchen tables at home. I think obviously the difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump was a difference that we ran on in 2020. It was a difference we ran on to some extent in 2022 and had historic results at the midterm. I think it's a contrast that will serve the president well in 2024. And that contrast is Joe Biden doing his job as president and Donald Trump just being Donald Trump. And you're a student of history, right? George Herbert Walker Bush, obviously the best example of someone who had an incredible foreign policy presidency yeah. and then, you know, got beaten by a, a, a governor from Arkansas who had no political experience whatsoever on the foreign stage. No one cared. As a veteran of the 1992 Clinton campaign, the one of President Bush's problem was not only that he was a foreign policy president, but he was a foreign policy president that didn't seem like he had much of a domestic policy agenda. I don't think anyone could say that about Joe Biden. I'm going to ask you about the, the, you know, the elephant in the room, right, which is, uh, which is the question of Biden's age. I think it's a legitimate question for people to ask, and um, the president, uh, is, his age is his age. I think we have to continue to make the case that his age uh, gives him a lot of experience, a lot of wisdom. In the end, voters make a choice, and the choice is between two candidates with their respective assets and liabilities. And uh, the president's age is definitely going to be one of our liabilities. Donald Trump's only three years younger. He has a lot of other liabilities. 69% of Democrats in polling say he's too old to be effective in a second term. Do you think Joe Biden has a understanding of the fact that this is as big a problem as it is? The president knows how old he is. And, <laughs> that, I, that I have no doubt about. And, and he can read the news coverage that says that there are polls that say voters are concerned about that. And, and you know, I think he's going to make this go away altogether. But I think you know, he understands that he has to govern in a way that shows his vigor, that shows his strength, that shows his capacity to do another four years and campaign in a way to do, to do that. I don't think there's anyone in the White House that underestimates this problem. I mean, Joe Biden has gone through a lot of shit, you know, in his life. But a guy who's been tested a lot is going through kind of, for even by his standards, like the ultimate crucible right now. Right. Why are you so confident that he's not going to just get burned to a crisp in this process? Because I was there when they brought him evidence that the Russians were going to invade Ukraine. And a lot of other younger, supposedly super savvy foreign policy experts said, no way it'll happen. And he said, no, 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 this is going to happen. We need to get the world ready for it. And he was the person who was able to line up the European leaders, got Europe in line to deal with it, got Zelensky ready to deal with it. And so I saw him in action. So it's my view that he is the best person in our country to be president right now and to be president for the next four years.